Hello, I'm Brad Eli. Today is August 7, 2019. Here are your latest Church Milton headlines. A mother is accusing the Bishop of Buffalo, New York of cover-up. Father Jeffrey Nowak is being accused of sexually harassing the seminarian as well as breaking the seal of confession. The seminarian's mother claims Bishop Malone has known about it for nine months and has done nothing, leaving Nowak in active ministry. Bishop Malone has a track record of covering up homosexual predation in his diocese while ignoring multiple calls for his resignation. After experiencing backlash, a Texas bishop has deleted a series of anti-Trump tweets. Yesterday, San Antonio Archbishop Gustavo Garcia Siller deleted a barrage of tweets in which he faulted President Trump for the shootings in El Paso and Dayton. The Mexican-born bishop also implied Trump was a racist, saying, quote, President, you are a poor man, a very weak man. Stop damaging people, please. And, President, stop your hatred. People in the U.S. deserve better, end quote. Garcia Siller is well known as a political leftist and opponent of traditional Catholicism. A global survey shows that President Trump is more admired than Pope Francis. The poll conducted by YouGov.com, taken by 42,000 people in 41 countries, ranks Trump as the 14th most admired man in the world, with Pope Francis coming in 15th. Both men are bested by Bill Gates, Barack Obama, and Jackie Chan, who come in at first, second, and third place, respectively. A Pennsylvania bishop is slamming suggestions that gun control will solve the culture of violence. Writing in his weekly column Monday, Philadelphia Archbishop Charles Chaput said that only a fool believes gun control will end mass shootings in the U.S. Chaput pointed to the deeper roots of the crisis, saying, quote, the people using the guns in these loathsome incidents are moral agents with twisted hearts, and the twisting is done by the culture of sexual anarchy, personal excess, political hatreds, intellectual dishonesty, and perverted freedoms that we've systematically created over the past half century." End quote. An unlicensed abortion mill has opened in Indiana thanks in part to Democrat candidate for president Pete Buttigieg. After an unsuccessful two-year fight to obtain a license, Whole Woman's Health of South Bend opened in June with the presidential contender's blessing. Yesterday, a Buttigieg spokesman claimed the facility is fundamental to the health of northern Indiana women, telling the Chicago Tribune it provides easy access to abortion for low-income mothers. I'm Brad Eli. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about Bishop Barron and Fatima. God bless you.